Hello friends in today's video we will talk about nail deformities seen in systemic diseases Let us talk about characteristics of the normal nail The nail plate is the hard keratin cover of the dorsal portion of the distal phalanx The nail plate is generated by the nail matrix at the proximal portion of the nail bed As the nail grows the distal part of the matrix produces the deeper layers of the nail plate while the proximal portion makes the superficial layers disruption of the functions in the proximal matrix as may occur in patients with psoriasis results in more superficial nail problems for example pitting disruption of the distal matrix may cause problems with the deeper layers resulting in ridging or splitting now let us briefly discuss some of the commonly seen nail changes in systemic diseases clubbing of the nails is a thickening of the soft tissue beneath the proximal nail plate it results in sponginess of the proximal plate and thickening in the area of the digit it can be observed in neoplastic and other lung diseases atrioventricular malformations congenital heart diseases celiac disease and inflammatory bowel disease cyanosis it may manifest as blue or purple discoloration of the nail bed it occurs as a result of low oxygen saturation causing accumulation of the deoxyhemoglobin in the small blood vessels of the extremities central cyanosis is caused by congenital heart diseases and peripheral cyanosis can be seen in cold exposure shock congestive cardiac failure and peripheral vascular diseases pitting of the nails is seen as punctured depressions in the nail plate it is usually associated with psoriasis affecting up to 10 to 50% of these patients it can also be seen in ritter's syndrome sarcoidosis pemphigus alopecia areata incontinentia pigmentae half and half nail in patients with severe renal disease the proximal portion of the nail bed can turn white obliterating the lunula and giving a half brown and half white appearance in chronic renal failure increased melanin production may cause distal parts of the nail bed to turn brown leukonychia it refers to white discoloration of the nail and is seen in chronic kidney and liver diseases mulcase lines these are apparent leukonychia characterized by double white transverse lines and this is specific for hypoalbuminic states especially occurs in patients with albumin less than 2 g per deciliter it can be seen in nephrotic syndrome glomerulonephritis liver diseases in certain chemotherapeutic drugs and malnutrition coelonychia it is a concave nail dystrophy in which the nail plate is depressed centrally and elevated laterally these nail changes are capable of retaining a drop of water most commonly seen in patients of iron deficiency anemia and some of the other states are hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism diabetes mellitus psoriasis and alopecia areata splinter hemorrhages these are small areas of bleeding under the fingernails this look like thin reddish brown lines of blood under the nails the hemorrhages may be caused by tiny clots that damage the small capillaries under the nails and it is seen in patients of infective endocarditis